One thing that we kind of skipped over was many-to-many -many relationships in a junction table. Right now, our database structure, we don't have anything linking our customers to our pro products. All right, We want to know uh, which customers bought which products. And when I say many-to-many -many relationship, that means that um, customers can buy more than one product and products can be bought by more than one customer. Um, another example of a many-to-many -many relationship is our reviews table, uh, which is kind of used as a junction table because uh, we have customers, okay, we can have more than one customer and we can have more than one product. Alright, so customers can review on as many products as they want. All right. Now a one-to-many relationship is what we have for, let's say, products and product categories. All right. So our categories can have more than one product, but our product cannot have more than one category. So that's a one-to-many. All right. Now I want to make a junction table which is going to bring together our products and and customers. All right. So what we're going to do is um, just create a new table. I'm going to call it. Uh, actually, and we'll call it orders. That makes more sense. I was going to say product, product customer, but orders makes a lot more sense. All right, so we just want, we just want three fields here. So we'll have an ID. This is going going to be our primary key, which is definitely needed. So that'll be auto increment primary, and then we're going to have customer ID. And we're going to have product ID. Actually, let's stick with the naming convention and get rid of the IDs. All right, so that's a junction table. It's just it's it's there to to unite two other tables. All right, so what we also want to do is create the relationship from from within PHP MyAdmin. Um, so we want to go to orders and we want to add an index to customer as well as um, product all right so now we want to click on relation view and we want to link this customer to the customers table ID field and we'll keep it at, at restrict Product, we're going to link to the products table ID field. All right, so we'll save that. Now we have a relationship. The, the customers and products table now have a relationship with the orders table, and it's, it's a many to many relationship. So when our application, when a customer logs in and they, they purchase a product, they're going to be put in this table. Okay. So we can actually even insert something here. So let's say that customer one bought product five and customer two bought product six. Um, and we could even enter Customer one, which already has bought in a product, can also can buy another one. They'll buy product twelve, and we'll say customer six bought product nine or or ten. All right, so that's what this table looks like. Um, it's it's not very graphical or informational; just has the IDs. But our application would know what to do with this. And we'll also come back to this table when we do joins and, 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 other, and stuff like that, when we get into more complex queries. So just wanted to throw that in. I'm sorry that this was not included in the actual um, section where we created the database, but I figured better late than never. So just add that to your database and you should be good to go.